This is the Transformers Studio Series from the movie Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Core class, Noah Diaz Exosuit. And I also was able to pick up another copy of the Studio Series Autobot Mirage. Uh, if you remember my review of Mirage, my infamous review, uh, it was a defective product. Said it, you know, might as well get another one that wasn't defective. And I picked up this figure in particular at a hobby shop called Phil Bars. And this one, as you can see from the price tag, I picked it up at my local Toys R Us store for about $18. And the hype surrounding this figure is just ridiculously crazy. This thing is sold out everywhere, even in online stores. It's selling for like 30 bucks on the secondary market. I have no idea why, but we're gonna find out if this figure lives up to its hype. Let's take both of these guys out of their packaging. And here is Noah Diaz in his exosuit out of the box. And wow, look at this figure. It looks like an Iron Man figure uh, with the Mandalorian helmet and Bellstar Galactica Cylons combined <laughs> into one. I don't have the backpack on him because I couldn't pose him without, with the backpack. But yeah, very, very poseable figure. Head to toe, the figure stands at about eight and a half centimeters tall are about three and three eighths inches tall. Now here is Noah with his best bud, Mirage. And obviously I've mistransformed this figure. I tried to put the kibble all the way in the back. This is a nice place to store his weapon. I don't know why the designers didn't actually put some pegs on so that the weapon could actually just store right there, but that would be a great way to do it. Uh, this one's obviously here, but really I'm not, I'm not getting this figure. I mean, the second time around, I thought I'd have a change of heart. I really thought I'd like this figure better, but it's actually much worse. Second time around, I actually hate this figure even more. It's an absolutely ridiculous looking robot mode. I mean, how can anyone pay so much for this figure? People are like buying this one for like what? 40 bucks 50 bucks online in the secondary and tertiary markets do not pay more than 30 bucks for this figure it's simply not worth it anyway i main reason i bought this figure again despite panning the review of him is really so i could compare him with noah and here he is uh look how accurate this figure is i mean come on you can't beat that detail such tremendous amount of detail and paint apps and sculpting on him looks so much like how he did in the movie let me just bring in the artwork on the box so we can compare how accurate this figure is look how how so accurate that is i mean even the helmet i mean wow hasbro really that helmet you had to turn him into a mandalorian cylon god knows what that is oh wow I love the accuracy, you guys. Bravo. And he comes with a backpack. Uh, this backpack kind of acts like a drone. I do like it. It's like a drone. And it comes to him. Power extreme. Let me know in the comments if you know the reference. Uh, so there's a peg here, which you can plug into any of the other five millimeter ports. Uh, for other figures. And the drone essentially is the one that transforms. This figure doesn't do jack crap i mean it, it it's flexible it's got a lot of articulation because of the ball joints but that's it uh it doesn't transform and rightly so i mean the the exosuit didn't really transform into anything but uh it is a transformers figure hasbro felt that they needed to have a transform so you can plug the backpack in like that and this gun right here actually comes off and it serves as Mirage, just like Mirage's gun, and it transposes in, into Noah's gun when, you know, spoiler alert, uh, Mirage actually melds and, and forms the exosuit for Noah Diaz. So, yeah, he's got the, what is this, his blade? He stab Scourge with, and then he's got his gun. This one's actually very nicely sculpted and painted. I actually like what they did with this drone. I mean, look at this, very, very well done, nicely painted. Even the plastic quality is pretty good. No complaints on that, but uh, yeah, that's what it is. Power Extreme, Ace McLeod, Daring Air Operation Specialist. 
Articulation, it's got ball jointed neck, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, hips, knees, all ball joints, even the ankles are on ball joints, so you got full range of motion. So to transform this figure, I'm gonna go ahead and pop open this piece right here, and then put the gun back on top right there, and then you just collapse the figure in on it on the backpack, just tab the hands or the arms onto the backpack. They just stay there. This piece right here, it folds down to form the rear part of the jet. It tabs onto the knees or back of the knees, back of the legs. And then uh, the feet just fold up this way. And presto, you've got him in his jet mode. Look at that, delta wing. And then attack formation. And get this, to transform him back into his robot mode, just flip the feet up. And there you go, he's in his robot mode. So, robot mode, jet mode, robot mode, jet mode, transforming him. It's such an involved transformation. It's so much fun transforming this guy. Jet mode, robot mode, wow. I mean, there's loads of fun playing with this figure. I, I mean, I don't... I don't know why Hasbro only thought about doing a Transformer like this. I mean, they've been doing it for a certain amount of years back in the 90s and all that where you just flip the figure down and be a vehicle and then flip him up and he's a robot. Wow, this is Hasbro at its finest. And, you know, I couldn't be more happier. I paid like $18 for this thing. I mean, because that's just the prices out here in Asia. And I know he initially retailed for what, $11, including taxes, $11, $12. Uh, 10 bucks if you're not paying any taxes you're buying it online but is it worth 10 bucks yes 18 dollars definitely not do not pay more than 18 bucks for this i i've seen sellers on shopee on ebay they're selling this one for like what 30 bucks i mean that is just crazy ridiculous it's not worth that but it's a fun little transforming figure you can have loads of fun with this guy <laughs> And so some final thoughts on this core class, Rise of the Beasts, Noah Diaz exosuit. Oh man, the it certainly doesn't deserve all the hype it's getting. Seriously. This figure at best is an 8 out of 10 for me. I mean, the whole concept of the very fully posable character is great, but it looks nothing like the movie. The accuracy is so off. The scale is wrong, considering the fact it is a Studio Series figure and they pride themselves with having figures in scale. I don't know. I mean, if you're into this, if you need a Noah Diaz to partner with your Studio Series Mirage, yeah, sure, go for it. But as a figure itself, uh, <laughs> it can be fun, easy enough transformation, but uh, it's definitely not worth that $18 to $30 hyped price point. I mean, 10 bucks is probably the most I'll pay. I should, you should pay for this. $10, $15 tops. And like I said, just wait for this one to show up on Ross and maybe pick it up for three bucks. I think that's that's probably the best way to do this. I'm kind of feeling generous. I'm gonna give this figure my legendary 1,000 out of 10 rating. It really is something. I mean, best of luck to everybody hunting this figure down. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Studio Series from the movie Rise of the Beasts, Core Class, Noah Diaz Exosuit. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.